Hey, hey everybody, it's Overkill here with the premiere of the Sclavenians campaign for Total War Attila using the uh, Slavic culture pack. So today, of course, as I just said, we're playing as the Sclavenians. Our faction leader is the very appropriately named Vladislav. Our religion is uh, Slavic paganism. There's a little description of what they did here. Our cultural trade is hardy warriors. Construction costs minus 50% for main settlement buildings. Are, we are immune to snow attrition and we have no colonization cost. Our unique faction trait is Horned is the Hunter, which is morale, melee defense, and melee attack plus 10, and melee damage plus 20% when fighting nomadic factions. We have extra income for every enemy unit destroyed, and our public order is plus 5 from military presence, which is awesome. We're playing on the hard difficulty, of course. 395 AD initial challenge is easy, apparently. How you win is you build, uh, wonders. That's how you win as any of the Slavs. You don't have to conquer, you don't have to survive, you build... As soon as you build a totem of the wolf, you get a minor victory, and as soon as you blah 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 blah, you know what I mean. So, without further ado, let's get into the campaign. So, we are going to be skipping the intro, as it is not unique, it is just the same old Germanic intro from uh, the other campaigns, which is a bit of a shame. I figured that the Slavs would have a different intro than the Germanic factions, but uh, apparently not. <clears throat> But I suppose that's fine. Um, if you are interested in watching the intro, you can literally just go on YouTube and type in Total War Attila Germanic intro and you'll find it. It's nothing really that important that you need to see. And again, it's even less important because it has nothing to do with this faction. But, oh well. That just means we'll get into the campaign quicker. <laughs> so yeah. taking us quite a bit of time to actually get into this which is a bit of a pain but oh well oh that would uh, that would be my uh, my phone charger oh yeah we'll skip that we don't need to watch that we have built a home for our people through bitter struggle blood and toil and though the world around us now crumbles, we will not abandon our hard-earned place in it. The Huns are everywhere, marauding and raiding, but we say, let them come. Though they are numerous, we are a strong and determined people. We will not bow to the hordes. Elsewhere, the world is weak and vulnerable in the face of this Hunnic threat. The Roman Empire to the south has too few armies to defend all its vast holdings. There is opportunity here and territory to be gained. Be bold, but careful. Rome may be vulnerable, but they still have allies. Enemies who would see us fail if they could. These cowards flee their homes and look voraciously upon ours. We will not be threatened or moved. Ours is the land of the Slavs. And though the world may be ablaze in chaos, we do not feel the flames. Those who challenge the Sclavenians will burn. Hell yeah, hooded, bald man. Sclavenians' enemies will all burn. So we gotta survive until spring 400, of course. That's what every short uh, first objective is so made ready for war do that we have to make sure that these factions are not in our lands Budinians, Roxolanians, Magyars so that means Budinians and Roxolanians are alright we have to have an income of 3,000 talents That's that might be a little bit difficult to do we need to build a shrine of Mokosh maintain 20 units in total and research militarized society so we're gonna go ahead and go for excuse me labor service first and you can see a Hunnic army here now, I would imagine that if I didn't have a general here, he would probably attack. Right? Right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What was that? Agent recruitment cost L. Blech. Blech. Right, who's younger? This guy's 21. Damn. And he'll get some levy spears to help him out. We'll upgrade that to that. Oh, is that the right one? Yep. And there we go. That's that. And yeah, that's our money. 
We'll also go ahead and get a couple of spears, just in case these guys get a little bit too close, we can fight them. Uh, yeah. Alright. So you are going to become the governor of Sarmatia Europea. That means you're also going to become a companion, and you will become... Oh, you can't become a companion, what a loser. Right. Okay. So good, 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 good. We're going to get trade with the Venetians. As you may or may not have told, I've, uh, I've played this before. I've uh, tried to record this four times. This will be the fourth time, every time it crashes. So hopefully, if you see this on YouTube, congrats. It actually worked. But uh, yeah, we're going to end the turn. Oh, no, we can uh, issue an edict, right? We're going to have the religious influence. There we go. First turn ended. Yes. This is basically what my plans are. I want to get rid of the tribes that are in my lands, and then I'm going to move on to the and reset all these lands up here. That's my initial plan, because that would complete this settlement, or this province, and of course that would give me more money, and then I could, you know, use edicts and stuff on it. Which would be quite nice, but of course that means we have to... Oh, look at that. You bastards. So they're going to attack Cariscos. I don't think they're going to actually attack it, no. Right, and that army's going that way. Okay, well, that's one I don't have to deal with, so that's good. They've uh, besieged me. Now, the unique event chain for the Sclavenians is the Hun becomes the Hunted. The world is being ravaged. From the northeast, the fast approaching Huns pillage and burn everything before them. It is only a matter of time before they are upon us as well. Uh, yeah. Yet the Sclavini do not bow before any would-be conqueror, and certainly not these marauding Huns. When they come, and they will most certainly come, we will push them back to the steps they came from. No mercy, no surrender. A dilemma will soon occur. Right, so you got your stuff done. Yeah, and you can see that they are they have a strong force here. Um, and we definitely don't want to deal with that. Interesting that they declared war. I didn't expect that. Uh, what are these Slavic axes? All right. Now, what we could do is we could spend a quite a bit of money and get a couple of units of... Uh, or at least a unit of cavalry. Yeah, that's all we can get. Darn. That's a bit of a shame, and we can't recruit anything else. So basically, it's going to be an interesting defense of this place, because we don't have that much. Oh, Warlord's Guard. Alright, yeah. Between all this stuff, it should be we should do pretty good. So now this army has attacked here. They're going to be reinforced by those units, right? Well, we th it's now or never. We have to attack them. Right, it's not giving us the biggest chance in the world. But I do think that we could beat them. This will be a decent army. We have a lot more men than them, so let's do it. Well, we have to do it. What am I saying? We can't just say let's do it. We have to do it. So let's do it. They have four units of cavalry. That's dangerous. They have more archers and they have the same amount of infantry. Well, no, I'm going to have more infantry in the end, but... It's going to be dangerous. I'm going to need to keep my spear safe to fight this cav. I know that for sure. And the thing about the Slavs units are, as you can probably see from the pictures, they're not very well armored. But we do have a unit of horse butchers, I think they're called, in this army. So if these guys charge in, we can counter charge with these guys and they should take them down pretty quickly. Hopefully. But uh, we shall see. This will be Vladislav's shining moment. Or, you know, he could die in the, like, second turn. That would be that would be pretty shit. Uh, we definitely want dry weather. There we go. And there we go. So we could we could deploy our cavalry out on a flank if we wanted to. But I'm not, I'm not quite sure if I really need to. Right, so... All of these guys can chill like that. And there's nowhere we can hide them, so it is kind of pointless to deploy them. I suppose maybe they could hide behind this hill? No, they can be seen. Well, whatever, we'll keep them there anyway. So we'll start the battle. Are the Huns going to come to me, or am I going to have to go to them? Oh, they're moving. They're coming to me. All right. I can deal with that. So we have an extra unit of archers, and then some more spears. So yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep these skirmishers in the back. Get the axes up here. General here. 
and then we'll charge those guys in when we need them. All right. It's going to be it's going to be difficult to mess mess around with the Huns with these guys because their archers, of course, outrange me. So this will be difficult to to pull off. And some of their units have bows, as you can see. Does it tell you the ammunition? Oh, they only have one shot. All right. Well, that's not too bad. Oh, they have javelins then, actually, not bows at all. Ninety damage is definitely a javelin. Right. So they are coming for me, though. So uh, that's good, I guess. Good isn't really the word I want to use, but there's not much else I can really do about it. But I, th I think we should be able to pull this off. It shouldn't be too bad. Right, so these horse cutters, we definitely want to keep them safe. I mean, we could go around and try to snipe their general. The step chieftain. Oh, I guess they are. I guess it is just one shot of 90 damage bows. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, because that's more damage than even my javelins do, actually. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, well, I don't know what they use. Gosh. Yeah, let's see if I can attract the attention of the enemy general. That would be awesome. What does this do? Plus 50% missile damage. Let's see if I can get his attention. Like, hey, come here. Or, you know, his archers could just turn around and destroy me. There's that, too. Wow, he's spreading out so much. What the hell happened? His unit just, like, exploded. I don't think I drew his interest at all. Ah, screw it. Let's go attack him. Alright. I wish I had more spears, honestly. Oh, they shot. They killed a few of my guys. My guys aren't firing back. Alright. See if we can mess up the enemy general this way. Right. Oh, do, 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 do. no, 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 no. Oh gosh. Well, it's already it's already gone horribly wrong. It's already gone so terribly wrong. No. Alright, let's see how good these guys actually are. Did my cavalry get charged? Okay, no. Excellent. Alright, we are distracting a lot of their calves, so that's good. Oh, we're about to get kind of trapped, though. Alright, what's going on? I need to start paying attention. What's going on here, boys? I didn't put anybody in spear wall. There's that. There is that. This unit can now start flanking, so that's good. Get these guys over here. Get the general up here, too. We get these guys going up behind. No! Move, you fuckers! Come on! Oh my god! Like, I don't care if they catch one guy. Don't turn around to fight them, you idiots. Especially if you're already on skirmish mode. Oh, they're going to do some damage to me, probably. Alright, let's get in the fight. Now, they are going to catch up with me a little bit, but we should be okay. Oh, 
the enemy cavalry are chasing. That is fine. Oh. No, I want you to focus here. Nope, don't turn around, don't turn around, keep going. No. Why are you just sitting there? I didn't tell you to stop there. Oh my god, man. Attila is such a piss off with stuff like that. It's ridiculous. Ridiculously annoying. Damn. What an what an annoyance. Right, so we're getting in the fight there. Our men have given up and are running for their lives. And it still kind of flattens the unit, but I should be able to destroy them now. They should get nice and wrecked. Oh, what? Excuse me? You better not break. Yeah, that's what I was, th that's what I was thinking. That's more like it. No, you're... St Jesus. I don't need you shooting them. Fuck off. Good lord. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I need to learn to play with these damn fa this damn faction. Holy cow! These units, so good, such a good faction. Early units, really good. Oh, these guys are gonna get wrecked. All right, we're winning. That's good. Or we're going to win, I mean. But at what cost? We lost so many men. <laughs> But we did liberate the siege, so that's good. And these guys are probably going to get away. Which kind of sucks. But oh well. Chase down the rest of those bows. If only my guys didn't sit still and get absolutely fucking destroyed by the enemy archers, that would have been nice. Okay, let's see if we can catch this unit. No, we're not going to. <laughs> And the battle. We lost like half of our force. They lost all of the. Actually, not even all of theirs. A lot of their archers and cavalry got away. That's okay, I suppose. Also, sorry for my excessive use of language, possibly, in that battle. But uh, after trying to record this four goddamn times, the slightest thing is annoying me. He, he survived? Well, actually, that's preferable, to be honest. Because if he didn't, that means the army would have came back. Alright, so we're recruiting. So that ar that army's been destroyed. These guys may attack us. But, uh, honestly, we would be able to, to, to defend with this army. We have that unit of cavalry. We, just have to, we'd, we would just have to be smart with them, essentially. So Vladislav has leveled up. We'll go ahead and give him those things. You can see that put our income up a bit. That's good. And yeah, we will uh, get to work replenishing our men. So it's interesting that they declared war on us, though. I uh, I wasn't expecting that. That hasn't happened yet. Oh, look at the Huns raiding in my lands. What a bunch of assholes. Let's end the turn and see if they attack uh, Shalonis. We shall see if they attack Jalonis. Okay, the Huns left my lands. Good. I don't care then. They can raid somewhere else. But if they raid me, that's a problem. But since they're raiding someone else, it's all good. Now I don't need to be upset. Alright, so that army backed off. Probably to go get more men somewhere. Okay. 
Good. So they declared war on me for no reason. The Hun becomes the hunted. As expected, Lord, the Huns are here, and they do not mean to make ni nice ties. I don't know. They have their teeth bared, barred, whatever, for war, but so do we. The question now is how to fight them. We could act defensively and have them crash uselessly against us, but they are many and may find purchase by sheer numbers alone. Alternatively, we could attack for... No. I don't have the money or the men to, uh, to attack like that. We will continue to be defensive until uh, everything clears up, essentially. Alright, so now we're going to start researching labor service. That's good, so that means we can upgrade this soon. And yeah, I think we should just start saving our money, honestly. These are being very, these are taking up quite a bit of money, but they are quite important to the defense. Thirsty for battle. Maybe we could get a unit of axes. No, no. Um, can we form the Slavic Alliance yet? A good pork, That's what I've been calling it since I started playing this. I look forward to your wisdom. But I trust you will oh. Hell no. I don't need you joining that war. I just crushed... I just you messed them up. Us. There is food enough. Okay, they accepted that. Antians are my military ally. That's good. I mean, a defensive ally. That's good enough. For now. That's just one step closer to getting to military. Men will hell no, I'm not joining the war against the Huns. You're crazy. I hope you didn't start that war. If you did. Oh boy, good luck with that. Oh boy. Good luck with that indeed. Oh, they besieged me again. Alright. Unshakable defenses. Now all of our units have extra de melee defense morale. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Alright, so... They are going to be reinforced by this small force. What do they have here? Right, we have a better chance of winning this time. The, uh, yeah, and you can see, they don't have... They maybe have, what, four units of cavalry? If this is cavalry as well? Awesome! Let's do it. Let's do it. Interesting thing in their deployment zone. What the hell? Yeah, so they, they are going to have four units of calf. Well, I guess you can consider it three, really, because one of their units has 16 men in it. So this is our chance to destroy um, these guys' armies. That's good. Right, so we can actually deploy out with these guys. Interesting. I don't really think I'm going to, though. No, that's way too dangerous. Also, our reinforcements are coming in from here. So we will, of course, uh, um, we will deploy accordingly. Alright. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to pay attention a bit more than I did last time, that's for sure. Also, I'm gonna have to be pretty smart with how I use my cav. quite annoying that they managed to keep this big unit, but oh well. We only have a few more men than them as well, so we need to be smart with what we do. I mean, to be fair, we could start moving. Yeah, let's, let's move up. Let's move up. We must win this. Maybe it'll, it might break them out into a run. Oh, these guys are running. Alright, the rest of the enemy force is running as well. Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh. Yeah, you don't need to push out like that. Oh, they... They disappeared, what? 
What could possibly be hiding them? Okay. It's very weird that they're hidden. Alright. Shield wall, everyone. Oh, they're not going to attack me. They're just going to shoot at me. No. Alright, well, we'll take out these guys. Oh, here they come. Are they going to walk right into me? I'm okay with that. Oh, yeah, they are. Alright. You can do that. Alright, we just mauled that unit. That's good. Now those guys are charging in. Alright, here we go. Come on, deploy. Send in your infantry, you bastard. We've lost 200 men already? What the hell? How in the world have we lost that many? Let's go take out these archers. Okay, screw off now. There's the other step chief then. Yep. Okay, we got this. There we go. That's a dead enemy general right there. I'm gonna make sure I get rid of all the units this time. Alright, move on to them now. Pop rapid advance just because we can. And yeah, now they're gonna get wrecked. Get that step chieftain. Push on to the next unit. Get rid of them too. Don't let them fire. Kill them all! Alright, they shattered. So now we just deal with this unit. Excellent. Battle is turning in our favor. That unit has five men. This unit's down to 30. All right, let's take out that step chieftain. There we go. Actually, help him chase down those guys. There we go. No, he's going to get away. Fuck. Oh, well. Let him go. We'll just crush him anyway. Alright, speed it up. There we go. At least his army won't survive this time. So maybe he'll get some mercenaries or something, but... Pretty much all of my army survived, so... That's fine. Oh, we could we could have caught him. That's the funny thing. Oh, well. Decisive victory! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We lost 300 men. Wow, we, we lost an entire unit, basically. That sucks. But they lost everybody except for 50 men. So. Maybe it'll count as destroying the army? I don't know. Probably not. Oh well. 
I'm not upset about that. We shall see what situation we're in now. There we go. It didn't destroy either of the armies, sadly. Oh, yes it did. Their king died. Excellent. But he didn't die, which kind of sucks. Oh well. Take on his warriors. He is the new king. And I can finish him off. We're, we're going to do that. Wow, he actually did some damage, I think. Oh, now three three men. Never mind. No damage done. All right, good. But yeah, that's two of their armies destroyed. The other one is over here somewhere. Excellent. Ah, oh, they messed that up. They messed up my plans, man. That sucks. Uh, we could upgrade this if we really wanted to, or we could do that. Ooh. More money and defenses? Sure. Um... You honor us. There's food enough. They rejected it. Fine. Be that way. Welcome. We will talk and then we will feed. Yeah, they don't want it. All right, fine. Um right. So the Budinians they still have presence in my lands? Where? I don't know. Maybe that maybe that's because I just got rid of them and it doesn't really update until later. I'm not sure. Oh, growth local province. Yes, let's take that. We want these places to grow. All right. Oh no, governor. Um. Oh yeah, food and stuff. Sure. Cool. So yeah, um, once we finally like start finishing off some of these other tribes that are around, um, we're going to do the resettlement plan that I was talk. I think I was talking about. That might have been in the other time that I tried to record this. But either way, we're gonna go resettle these northern lands um, because that'll complete this province for free, essentially, except for turning the ruined building into a settlement. But that only costs like twelve hundred or something like that. No big deal at all. Oh, there's another horde faction. Great. The Huns become the hunted again. The Huns approach and we are ready. We must not flinch or show any signs of weakness. When they fight us, emerge victorious. When they assault our settlements, see that they are hurled back into oblivion. Do not lose a battle for 20 turns. And we'll gain these defensive improvements forever. Yeah, so basically, we need to be really defensive. We cannot lose a battle at all. We need to make sure exactly, we know exactly when battles are going to happen. Because we need to repel anyone. So basically, what's going to happen is... I'm going to, Are you ready to, do your duty to the tribe? I'm going to attempt to play as defensively as possible until we get those. I don't want to risk losing the uh, the defenses things because like if we if we lose it, it's it, our units are going to go back to being shitty basically. So a, as our troops get better and better, they're going to have those permanent upgrades and it's going to be awesome. So uh, we're just going to end another turn real quick, so just so I can get that research done. And we'll see what this new horde faction does. They might just be moving through to go south. Hopefully they are. If they attack uh, Jalonis, that's going to suck. I really hope they don't attack Jalonis. That would be very bad. Very bad indeed. Oh! They're raiding me now. Let's see how it is. Our Imperium went up. Lovely. Um, so have we cleared them out? No, now the Mag... Oh, that is the Mag Garris, isn't it? Yep. Now they're here, the bastards. And they're raiding me. How dare they. Alright. We can get Slavic Raiders. So... I guess I could keep them. And we could recruit two of these or something. Although, again, I don't really need them that much, especially now with this about to be upgraded. We're going to have a really good garrison. Ready for Let them come. Uh, so we finished that. We could go right ahead and start going down to this, but I think we're going to go for some... Uh, we're going to go for some upkeep cost taken off. Perfect. 
Uh, but also we're going to go ahead and upgrade this to that. And here, we're not going to build anything apparently. I could build that, but I wanted to get some religious stuff going. So never mind. Yeah, the bastards are raiding. How many units do we have? Six plus five, so eleven. If they attacked, we could probably win. But I am going to get a couple more units. That's going to like tank our economy, but it's necessary. We need to make sure that we don't lose anything. Oh yes, we can get a new governor, that's right. Um, there we go. Excellent, and we will also do the spread of Slavic Paganism here as well. Lovely. So I know this, in, this beginning is going to be kind of slow and boring, because we're not going to really try to expand until we get the... Uh, permanent defense upgrade and if I get to like one turn left and I lose I'm gonna be so pissed off <laughs> but oh well oh, what are the Huns doing interesting what are we looking at for time all right 36 minutes so sadly I can't stay for a complete hour like I usually do um, so today's episode is going to be about 45 minutes long I hope that doesn't piss off too many of you <laughs> because that wouldn't be good but um yeah oh an illegitimate birth from Vladislav a daughter he also has a son named Vlad very uh, very convenient right so now we can build our shrine if we want it it's gonna take our food though how much food do we have also this is gonna consume food oh shit Okay, we might have to hold back on that then. Shit. Well, good thing this doesn't become slums like it does in, like, Rome 2 and stuff. Right. So I bet they backed off because they thought they could probably take this easily. So now they backed off and uh, they're afraid to attack it. And yeah, see, here we go. This is how you win. The Totem of the Wolf. Maintenance cost a thousand. Plus 50 Imperium. Plus 10% tax rate. Army recruitment capacity plus 2. That's crazy! You need wood, you need iron, and you need at least 70% state religion. And you also need Sacred King, which is down here. Holy shit! Um, I'm not sure where my religion stands. It's going up, that's good. Oh, by 1.1% 1, 1. 1 every turn, that's awesome. Alright, so it shouldn't take too long. But, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a bitch. But Slavic Paganism is going up everywhere, which is good. Um... It's going up by quite a lot here. Oh, excellent. That makes me very happy. And of course, if we built this, it would affect everywhere as well. I want to build it so bad, but minus 35. Yeah, just a straight up minus 35. That's going to bring us down way too low for that. Damn, why does it have to be 20? Holy cow. Right, well, we'll see then. In two turns, we'll see. See, I'm just going to continue to save up money. Because, again, once I have, once I do this, go through this defensive stage, I can go and resettle. Now, also at the same time, if I build up a bit of an economy in these two settlements, I can create a third army, and that way I can actually make them strong enough that they could leave and go resettle and not have to worry about losing battles and such, if, I, if it's a full army, that is. So, um, we might do that as well. Who knows? We, we, uh, we have, we could do anything, really, if we wanted to. Alright, so it's winter. We've finished this. Good winter, apparently. That's great. So this place is actually happy, but in three, in, a, in next turn, that's gonna go away. And yeah, we might end, we might just end another turn, just to be quick. Yep, let's end another turn. I found with Attila, it's a lot more en um, turn ending than any other Total War I've ever played. You are honorable, worthy, and strong, and only fools would not wish to be friends with you. Okay, sure. Give it. Give me money then. It's strange. Usually the other Slavs want to be in alliances with me, but it doesn't seem like on this playthrough they do. Of course, the one that's going to work, they don't want to be friend like too good of friends. 
Oh well. Maybe it's because they see that I'm being very cowardly and hiding in my in my settlements. Maybe. I don't care what they think though. They can screw off. I'm gonna survive and they aren't. Oh shit. Refugees. Oh, more, okay. Growth. Perfect. That's cool, I guess. That's gonna help out quite a bit. Oh, look at the friggin' public order because of these guys. Urgh. Thirsty for battle. Not good, not good. Oh, food's negative here as well. To make it all better. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to skip out on uh on this. We're gonna have to build a farmstead. Or we could do this. Because the sanitation is lower now. But it won't give us money, and money's good. Yeah, screw that. But, mm, at the same time, I'm like, oh, I have to, though. Fine, let's go for the sanitation. It's also very expensive. <laughs> no. Taking all my money. Right, so... This army, I'm just going to beef the shit out of this army because I can see these guys declaring war once they recruit more units. So, household game, Pelum. My lad. Cool. Oh gosh, lots of interns, I know guys, I'm sorry. But we did get two battles in, so that's pretty good. I just thought about that. Two battles for a 45 minute episode is definitely good. Usually I go for two battles in hour long episodes, so. Hmm. Not too bad. Alright, so the Romans are taking their dear sweet time with their turns, of course. That's usually how it is. Oh, there they go. Magyars. No attacks, no threats or anything, so that's interesting. Oh, who, who leveled up? The governor here? Hey, nice. Okay, so we'll get some food here. So now that means that this place isn't too pissed off. It's at zero now. I guess, does that still count as a food shortage? I don't know. Either way, you can see our economy is kind of tanked. Which, of course, isn't good. I can't recruit spies or anything, can I? No. No. It would have been nice to get a spy to go around here and see if there was any other hordes anywhere. But oh well. Alright, so we're going for that. We have this. We don't have that. We we won't have that. I don't know about that. Oh, the Huns are besieging. No! My friends are being killed by the Huns. That sucks. We can't really... Oh, we can trade with these guys. They don't hate me anymore. Nah, they don't want that though. Right. Venetians. Welcome, worthy friend. Hey, there we go. Now we have our first military ally. Excellent. Alright, so what are we looking at? It's past 40 minutes now, I at least. 43. Alright, so we'll end another turn, and then we'll uh we'll end the episode there. So it might end with war declaration in a battle, it might end with peace and just, you know, carrying on. We shall see. Hopefully the latter. Unless it's an easy fight or something. Like if the, if, if this one army attacked Jalonus, we could probably be, we'd we'd be able to beat it. We'd be able to beat it. And I can only imagine, like I was doing pretty bad in those battles, and that's with the ridiculously high stats against nomads. So can you imagine the other Slavs and the other factions? Oh gosh. Oh, there they go, they're just marching and raiding. Bastards. Oh, our Imperium went up again. That guy ended his term of office, alright. This general has leveled up. Let's see. Could get melee defense for all the infantry units. Get that just to make the troops a little bit cheaper and we get the defense yeah right so now we have a choice on what we can go for 
We could get more ammunition. Oh, we'll go for that. Uh, what what is it we get if we finish this? Public order. All right. Cool. So yeah, those guys have kind of buggered off, except for the fact that you know they've wandered into my lands and started raiding and shit. But other than that, not too bad. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the episode. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, as always. And if you're enjoying, if you're going to enjoy this series, you think, please be sure to or make sure you're subscribed. Um, so that you can see it every couple of days when it is released. But thank you guys for watching, of course. And um, please tell me how you feel about this campaign uh, if you're excited to see more. Because, of course, it is the brand new campaign that just came out today. But yeah, guys, this has been Overkill as always. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Ooh.